Computer science takes place in all aspects of our lives today. And a lot of times people don't even realize it. You know, if you have a screen in a restaurant that shows you the menu, that's computer science. If you have just a simple application on your phone that's a game about cats, that's computer science. A lot of people are employed by things that have to do with computer science every single day. Don't just look at, oh, I don't know computers, because there's a lot. There's many different facets in the field, you know, like being a doctor. You can be a specialist in one area, and there's many areas that you can specialize in. The fun thing about this is we're an industry that, on a slow cycle, reinvents itself every 18 months, sometimes faster than that, so things are always changing. We're always learning new things. These are fundamental skills, just like English and math. Everyone should be familiar with the fundamental components for computer information science. I love that it's like problem solving, and it's kind of like a puzzle, and I always used to think that I hated puzzles, but it's just like any other language where you have syntax, and then you have like certain things you have to put together to be able to talk to the computer and make it do what you want it to do, and it's just really fun. Just to be able to be on the back end of making a web page, being able to come here and solve problems with computer information science, I discovered was more where I wanted to be, to be able to look at something on the web and say, hey, I did that. California currently has over 80,000 jobs in computing-related positions. They do anticipate by 2020 that there will be a million jobs that will be unfilled because there are not enough students studying computer science. My previous job, I dealt with technology a lot. I've always had an interest in networking and server administration. And then I saw the program here at Sac City College and I saw that was a good alternative to some of the more expensive trade schools. In the networking classes, they learn how to operate the switches and routers, how to configure those. We're a Cisco Networking Academy, and the courses are geared for industry-recognized certificates so the students can take classes to help them prepare for the Cisco Certified Network Associate, the CCNA exam, and the Cisco Certified Network Professional, the CCMP exam. In the introductory classes, we're given a basic knowledge of what to expect when we are in the networking environment. And then in the more advanced classes, we're actually able to take actual routers and switches and program them and do mock setups as if we were in the business world. My whole life, I thought that I wasn't good at math and that I wasn't good at science. Even though I love computers and I love using computers and I kind of really understand how they work, you know, intuitively, I realized that I kind of just had this false idea of my talent, and so I decided to take an introductory programming course, and I just loved it. Like, I was totally hooked from the, like, the first day. My instructor was really good, too. You have the instructor right there with you to be able to ask questions, who will see your face when you don't understand something and they need to explain something differently or again or check in with the rest of the class to see who else isn't maybe understanding it. You just learn like basic algorithm design with C++. Like the professor gives you a problem statement and it's just like a word problem in math and you look at it and you have to decide how you're going to design your program. In Sacramento, there are lots and lots of state jobs available to people who know programming. The current workforce in the state of California, especially in the programming realm, is retiring. And so they need people to backfill those positions. And so our students have a great opportunity to get a job, at least here in the area. Well, I guess, you know, I was intimidated by uh, coding. And then when I, when I came across the SCC and their web development program, the professors are so encouraging and um, I'm picking up so quickly. I'm part of the Sac City Web Professionals Club, and some of the things that we do is we build websites, and we also do some consultation. Sometimes we'll be building a website from scratch. Other times we might be migrating a website from one platform to another. We basically work towards helping clients achieve their goals when they come to our club, and it gives students a real-world work experience. You know, we can work with platforms like WordPress and Wix, and we're still in the classroom. Like, we're not, you know, we're not on the ground at a major company. We're here at the school. That allows all of us to just kind of have that team environment and, and know what it's like to work for actual clients. We are always uh, looking to establish uh, connections for internships for students or student assistant positions. Actually, today I made another connection at the, the state for internship possibilities, and often those will turn to full-time jobs. 
Here at the Energy Commission, we have about a dozen websites, and um, I'm the webmaster, which means I manage all of those. There's um, five of us on the web team. We do all the maintenance, upkeep, we build new pages. Because I have taken classes at Sac City, I have learned so much, and it has helped me tremendously in my job. You know, I've been able to connect a lot more with my staff to know the basics of what they're doing. The programs that they have are teaching the skills that we're looking for. I love this school and uh, I would really just encourage people to really pursue computer information science in some fashion, especially here at Sac City. Our professors are awesome. It's the interaction with the professors, you know, face to face. They bring in their um, real world experience, which is so valuable. Tuition here is it's such a bargain, you know, just give it a shot. 